So last year, Airy introduced the MMB1 map box, which is a really terrific map box. Lots of uh, versatility to it, but now there's some accessories for it to make it even more versatile. So there are a lot of things here. I'm going to try and go through it fairly quick. Uh, first off, the MMB1 map box was designed originally for the EX1, EX3 uh, Sony cameras. It has a uh, rear back that can either take a 138 millimeter bellows that goes down to a uh, 114 ring and you can get screw in trays to go to whatever size you need for your lens uh, and it also holds a four and a half inch round filter inside the bellows or that same back and I have a another map box that I can use to show you uh, that same back can hold a drop in ring this particular one is for it goes to 94 millimeter which is meant for the EX1 and so that way it becomes a clamp on map box because you just tighten right here onto the lens and now you're clamping directly onto the lens or you can go with 15 millimeter rods so that you can support it that way uh, and it holds two trays uh, four by five six the rear one is a rotating stage and it is a side load rotating stage new is a 143 millimeter back it's just four screws and then this size ring is 143 millimeters instead of the 138 that's already on the map box. Why would you want 143 millimeters? Well, there's a bellows back that was originally designed for the MB20, but that 143 millimeter size means that that bellows back will accept a 138 millimeter internal filter. So that, that's a very common size for like uh, polarizers and such. Uh, also, 143 millimeters is the perfect size for the red 18 to 85 zoom lens. So this will just fit right on that lens. You can then tighten this sucker down. And you now have a clamp on map box for the 18 to 85 with a rear rotating stage in the map box, two stage map box. So that's very nice. And you can then, if you don't want the lightweight 15 rod, you can just take it off with uh, two screws and that comes off, saves a little bit of weight. Or you can use an adapter to go from lightweight 15 to Studio 15 or Studio 19, depending on what you're using. Also, uh, I mentioned that this has a side loading uh, uh, rotating stage. Well, everyone asks for a top loading rotating stage. So now that is an accessory. Again, it's just four screws to take off the back of the map box, take off the standard stage, put this one on instead. And I'll just use this new back to show you how they go together. And you can see that it is a top loading stage that in fact rotates. Uh, very easy to do. Um, and that's good for uh, graduated filters where you want to like say knock down the sky and, and the brightness but you not affect the rest of the image and keep it with, with wide angle lenses and such. Now, this, the map box has always had mounts for side flags and top flags. Well now we actually have side flags and they are adjustable side flags so you can expand the wings to, to fit where you need. And at long last, the top flag for the matte box, which uh, just goes on right here and actually covers the whole matte box, the uh, whole front, which some don't, and that never made any sense to me why there are matte boxes that, that they don't cover the whole thing. Um, four by four trays, if uh, for any reason you want to use that, for say maybe on your rear stage where you don't need to cover as wide. And uh, the accessory item that I really like People don't realize how versatile a map box this is. This map box will cover an ultra prime 14 millimeter lens on, uh, in Super 35. That's really huge coverage. That's a very wide lens. So, uh, but 138 millimeters, which is the standard back on here, is not a standard size. In fact, this is the only map box that has it. So, Airy made a 138 to 130 millimeter drop down ring. Why 130? Well, that is a common size. And so, there's lots of rings that are drop down tray rings for clamping uh, that are made in 130 millimeters. So you can go to your lenses that are 114 or 110 or 95 or 80 or whatever size your lens is and then you just put that ring in here, tighten this clamp, you now have a clamp on map box that has two filter stages in 4x5.6, rear one rotating whether it's top load or side load, you can have side flags and top flag. Uh, you can take off the lightweight 15 rod mount so that it saves a little weight. Really versatile, wide angle coverage, can do lots for you, and it's still a very inexpensive system compared to many map boxes. Really versatile, very nice.